Not only are we hurt, we are angry. When does it stop? The family of Rayshard Brooks demanded justice on Monday after the death of the 27-year-old at the hands of Atlanta police on Friday. The latest police killing of a black man caught on video to fuel nationwide outrage against police brutality and racial injustice. Brooks' widow, Tamika Miller, spoke at a news conference Monday. I can never get my husband back. I can never get my best friend. I can never tell my daughter, oh, he's coming to take you skating or swimming lessons. The fatal encounter came after police responded to a call that Brooks had fallen asleep in his car in a Wendy's drive through lane. Body cam footage showed Officer Garrett Rolfe trying to arrest Brooks. Then a struggle ensued. Brooks then broke away with what appeared to be a police taser in his hand. A second videotape from the restaurant's surveillance cameras shows Brooks turning as he runs and possibly aiming a taser at the officers. One of the officers then fires his gun and Brooks falls to the ground. The Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office ruled Brooks' death a homicide. Outside Georgia's state capitol Monday, protesters called for an end to police brutality. Angry demonstrations broke out in the city over the weekend. On Saturday, protesters set fire to the Wendy's restaurant where Brooks was killed. Rolf, who allegedly shot and killed Brooks, has been fired. And David Brosnan, the officer who initially responded, has been placed on administrative leave. Prosecutors will decide by midweek whether to bring charges. Of a different color. For the Brooks family, now it's a time for outrage and for honoring Brooks. We're going to have to bear him. We're going to have to say we miss you. And if we didn't say we love you enough, we got to apologize to him for not telling him that we loved him that much.